Good evening, welcome to eRepair. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on this Xbox. Um, so, as you saw in my other video, we had a slight mishap with the fan. So uh, this is my follow-up, the new fan has arrived and I just need to get that fitted. So I'm going to very quickly rip it apart and uh, just get that done. So if you want to follow along again, then feel free. Otherwise, uh, you'll just need to fast forward this uh, minor interlude of undoing all these blooming screws again that are a nightmare to get undone. So there we go, one Xbox open. So let's just quickly get these uh, the CD bay out and things, and then we can um, get this problem solved. Let's just grab a bit, think it was that one. Do I screw? I should be able to lift the Let's just disconnect that. Again, you're better off doing this with something flat, so if you need, please don't follow my advice in this one. So let's just do that quickly. Is that out. Disconnect the ribbon again. one out and then we need to undo two more screws and then we can free the hard drive so let's just do that one and the awkward to get to one down here and then what we'll do is we'll just undo this yellow power cable and unplug the ribbon at the back and then the heart of the CD drive will just lift out. So there you go. So that's that. Disconnect our fan. And then there's two little clips that sit either side back here that you won't be able to see. You just need to pry outwards. I'll just grab a small little pry tool. Just do that. So that's that one. And then this one here. And then the fan will just lift up and pull forward and there's our old fan so my new fan is a pre-loved one from ebay let's grab that out he's actually fairly clean so that's good so what we'll do we'll push this one back in just to the first notch and we'll push it back through and again just like, I would say just like that, but he doesn't want to go in, which is typical. Let's make sure everything's lined up. Yes, it is. Let's just ease it down. Just these plastic tabs don't want to agree with me. There we go. He's in. And then we'll reconnect our power lead. So that's good. It's all done. Let's put our old fan to one side, and I might have a stab at fixing that later. Let's see if I can bring it back. So what we'll do now is we'll pop our CD drive back in. Which we may end up having to take back out anyway, because I think it might have a fault after looking at it the other night. I'm trying to have a couple of games on it, despite my tractor-like Xbox running. Halo is just not the same when your Xbox sounds like a tractor. And let's grab our screws. I'll just slide this one down in here. This is the fiddly one. 
screw that in. And then we'll do the other front one on this side. And then finally, let's get this drive bay back in. So we'll just route this first cable through. And again, being careful that you don't cover the screw mount on the inside so when you push the screw through, you don't hit the cable. going to reorient this so that I can see it. We'll reconnect our lead here. Let's push that one back in like that. Nice and firmly. And then we'll re push this one back in here like this. And that's that. Now I'm not going to put the top case on. I'll just grab a power lead and we'll get that all wired up. And uh, then I'll come back to you and we can give this a test. So um, that's our power lead plugged in, as you can see. I will just press the eject button because I can test the drive at the same time. Pro Evolution Soccer 4, apparently, is what I was playing at. Um, so, as you can hear, it doesn't sound like a tractor anymore. It's nice and quiet. I would consider that a win. Now, I'm not going to do this back up because I have something else that I'm going to do now and I'm going to film another video on. Um, so watch this space and you can see that shortly. So thanks for watching. Um, if you found this video interesting and of use, please drop us a like, subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon just to get any updates of our future videos. And again, leave us any comments and I will do my best to answer as many questions as I can. So thanks for watching.